Stop playing politics. Address hunger, unemployment. NLC President Ajero to President Tinimbu. Stop playing politics. Address hunger, unemployment. NLC President tells President Tinimbu. Good morning, my people. Welcome to Maureen Entertainment TV. Here we the home of uh, entertainment and politics. This morning, we want to look at a reaction to the president of NLC to the comments that President Ahmed Tinubu made yesterday when he was commissioning the rail line in Lagos, citing the NLC going on strike during his administration and calling it a sabotage. My people, you are welcome. Try to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. The president, the president of Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Joe Ajiro, has charged Mr. President Paula Ametinimbu to stop playing politics with the, and address the issue of hunger and unemployment facing this nation. This is what the Labour chairman told the president yesterday. The Labour chairman was reacting to Tinimbu's remark that it is unacceptable for Labour Union to call for strike within the first nine months of an administration. President Tinimbo thinks that it is not right to call for strike within the first nine months of administration. And that's why Ajiro is reacting like this to the president's speech. And it was yesterday in Lagos when the president was commissioning the rail line launching of the rail line emphasized that the organized labor does not represent the sole opinion of Nigerians. He say this is not the voice of that the voice of labor is not the voice of Nigerians. What it means is that labor may be saying another thing and Nigerians are saying another thing. What President Tinimbu is actually telling us is that he's not he's not aware that Nigeria is hunger. Because if they if the, if NLC wants to go on strike because of hunger and and the problems in this country, unemployment, fuel, price, and so many things, and the president says that is not the opinion of the people. It means that the president believes that the people's opinion is that they are okay. They are not hungry, and there is employment everywhere. But come to think of it, my dear people, come to think of it, it is, so, it, is a, it, it is a concern to the common man in Nigeria. If the president can stand and make this public declaration in a situation like this in Nigeria, in a situation like this, if the president can make such a declaration, what it means is that we are in trouble. What it means is that even, he's just talking about nine months, in the next, in another nine months, I don't know how many persons that will remain because what he's trying to tell us invariably is that he's not making any effort. When you say, don't judge us by nine months, just wait, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Yesterday, the Minister of Information told us that uh, hunger will end very soon. Hunger will end very soon. And uh, hardship will end very soon. And nobody is telling Nigeria, common Nigeria, the strategy in place. What are the techniques you are going to employ to make sure that these things end? That's what we want to hear. Because if you tell us that this is what we are doing and this is what we want to do and everything, we cannot say, oh, okay. The problem of Nigeria now is that there is no food available. Scarcity of food. Even when you have the money, you can't buy anything. Scarcity. Many things are not available. And somebody is telling us that that is not the voice of Nigerians. This is, this is so concerning. It's, it's, a, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. So Ajero, the labor union, was telling the president that uh, you are talking about 2027 election. Nobody is interested in your job and nobody is hunting your job. In a statement titled, Mr. President, we are not after your job, Ajero said, the recent statement attributed to Mr. President during the commissioning of the post line of the red line, red line railway project has sparked deep concern within the Nigerian Labour Congress. My dear people, who will not be concerned with such a statement? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? This is a very serious issue. And what are we going to do? The labor is our problem in this country because they will say one thing and they will go and do another thing. If we can find a labor congress who will stand their grounds, I think Nigerians can support them. All of us will go on strike. Even the ones in there, even the, the women will go on strike. The children will go, everybody will go on strike. School children will not only the teacher, the school children will even go on strike. 
the university student will go on strike because it's becoming it's becoming it's becoming an unbecoming. There's a problem in this country. It's a serious problem. It's a serious problem. So, and while we are having this problem, uh, the president is insinuating that labor lacks the moral ground to challenge his administration. If he feels that an organized labor lacks the moral ground to, to challenge his government, that means even those who are not organized, even the masses come out on the street, that means they also lack, does not, does not have the moral ground. That's what it means. Meaning that he has no respect for anybody. He has no concern for anybody. And this is a very serious concern. This is a very serious concern. The pervasive hunger and unemployment, housing insecurity, escalating and kidnapping, uh, housing insecurity and escalating cost of basic necessities, food and other things in Nigeria, is, 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 de demands immediate action and decisive action. It demands immediate and decisive action. Look at the condition of our health care. Don't even try to go to hospital. Don't even try to go to hospital. If you know how to pray, just pray that God should help you to remain healthy. Don't even try to go to hospital. Because if you go to hospital, that is another problem. Yet, instead of these things, instead of the president taking care of this thing, looking at how he can improve in these facilities, the president is preoccupied with political calculations and future electoral prospects. He's, he's occupied with political calculation how he can win 2027. To him, they are trying to demarcate him. To him, what we are doing is trying to demarcate him. My dear people, I want you to submit your comments on the comment section. What are we going to do? What are your suggestions? What are your opinions? What do you think we can do? What do you think we can do? Make your comment, uh, drop your comment at the comment section so that we can read and discuss. It is so pathetic that we find ourselves in a country like this where nobody cares about us. Yesterday I said it, that we need to know the strategies on ground. We need to know what the president is doing. We are the people of this country. Nobody, no Nigerian is more Nigerian than the other. Nobody is more important than the other. Whether you're a politician or a businessman or a labor congress or anything you call yourself, no Nigerian is more Nigerian than the next. We are all Nigerians, and we are citizens of this country. And we have one constitution that's supposed to, co supposed to protect the interest and the human right of every Nigerian. I don't know what we are doing in this country. I don't know what is happening. All we receive is threat. All we receive is attack. Just go to the street now. They will send the police and the army to shoot you. What are we going to do? What is even the best way to handle these issues in this country? So that's why I want your comments, your, your, your suggestions and your comments on the comment section, my dear people. Good, good morning, and make sure you comment, and we are going to discuss it. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.